Hey guys, welcome back to PFS Outdoors Making Memories. This is Dave again. Today we are looking at this sweet little CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. So we have the uh, regular CZ sight, rear and front sight post, but we also have a Red Dot Viper um, Red Dot. What's cool about this gun, other than just the looks of it and the size, which makes this thing awesome for being able to shoulder, it also has a little finger indention here to uh, keep your hand from wanting to slide up into the front and accidentally shooting yourself. You can also push a little button on this side of where I'm at, but stock slides over. You can still shoot and fire just the same for easy, uh, easy mobility. Turns more into more of a pistol. Flip that stock out, you're ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna shoot this little dude. Uh, so you have regular and then like a binary. So it can, uh, when you pull the trigger in, it shoots. When you let out, it shoots. So we have a 35 round mag here today. And we are going to uh, load up. That's what she looks like with the 35 round mag in. It's pretty sweet. We also have a, uh, a drum, but I'm not gonna shoot out of the drum today. So uh, ambidextrous on the mag release, this little, lever right here is on both sides so you're like bang 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 you're out you just pull that in drop it smack another one back in and your safety selector switch here is also ambidextrous so you can flip it on either side um, as well with this you also have the uh if you want to put a sling a small sling on here or some kind of a clip like a single point harness you can put it on there like that and have it on your chest walking around like so uh, like an AR this was kind of up front you can pull the bolt back and lock that up to the rear when doing so it locks that to the rear so when you're ready to load up you pop your other mag in which we won't do just yet you can smack that down and it racks it in for you and you're ready to you're hot so let me get my ears real quick we did the video outside today because uh, it's such a beautiful day. We finally got some uh, sunny weather instead of rain and 50 mile an hour winds as it's been here lately. So it's been pretty, uh, pretty, pretty uh, crazy weather here lately. So we are gonna go ahead and lock this up to the rear. Pop our mag in, release that and we are hot, ready to rock and roll. So there's our Mr. Bad Guy target down there. Let me see if I can get my camera angle fixed there. You, I like holding right here at the Magua. I've just always been a, a Magua holding shooter, even on my ARs, but a lot of folks like to hold out here for better stability at a slight cant. That's how your competition shooters do sometimes. But to me, I just like elbows in, elbows in. My drill sergeant in the army used to, I don't want no chicken wings. He don't want you out here doing that. Can't have any cover. So if you tuck your arms in, you can lean around corners. If you do this, they're gonna see your elbow coming first. So arms in, tuck tight up against your chest. You're gonna be a lot more accurate. So let's see what we can do to this target. And I'll show you the target here in just a minute. All right, let's try out the other. Woo, that's pretty cool. Like I said, it's ambidextrous. I'm using my thumb, push that lever forward, drop that mag out. Take my ears off so I can hear myself talk a little bit. So that, my friends, is, that was pretty awesome. So when you're pulling the trigger to get that to work on the bump, I haven't done anything to this trigger. This is 
as it is this is how it comes um, you just kind of have a, a loose finger when you first pull it and the, vi the recoil and vibrations of it, it will uh, will uh, reset it and it just as you can see it put out a lot of rounds quick that was a 35 round mag uh, single shot just like normal but outside of normal I don't know how many rounds hit the target as far as accuracy goes but uh, if you're close, I guess accuracy don't matter because you're gonna put you're gonna put a few on them. Just you gotta make sure you don't have any bystanders if you're in that kind of a situation. So this gun is pretty awesome. I like it. Like I said, you can fold the stock over. You can stick this gun in a backpack, in a duffel bag. Uh, you can stick it just about anywhere, and and you'll be uh, safe to have yourself a pretty cool round, uh, pretty cool little gun. So I'm getting tongue tied on my words here. And like I said, you can also put a drum on here and have a 100 round mag and you can just go to town. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe, get outside, shoot your guns, make some memories with the kids, get some hunting. We got turkey season coming up. Hopefully we'll get some uh, videos of some turkey hunts out here and uh, get a kill down, get a turkey down. That would be awesome because that will be my first turkey I've hunted for years. Never have managed to get one on the ground yet. They uh, like to not come in or get hung up on me. So stick with us. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.